I'm Sally Mills of LaVolta and LaVolta Principles and welcome to Digital Bullets 2010. We've asked some industry experts to share their thoughts on issues and developments in the digital industry. We've given each person 20 seconds to answer those questions or else they get the chop. So we'll be broadcasting a sizzling digital bullet on a regular basis. One question answered with many different points of view. Hope you enjoy. What are the major developments you see happening over the next year or two in ad serving and ad networks? Will the changes be in the way visitors are targeted, in the type of media delivered, and or in the way inventory is sold to buyers and brands? Are there other trends you find interesting? I think video uh, is going to continue to be, video advertising is going to continue to grow um, quickly, far faster than, than the broader market because it, it's such a better way to sell a brand online. You know, online will turn into more of a targeted medium, whether that's targeting through behavioural targeting or direct demographic targeting. I think data now, which is, is being unlocked, um, will give advertisers much better solutions for their brand buyers. So targeting and ad serving and ad networks will provide the advertiser with better ways to target their advertising spend. The downside is, of course, that as they get smarter and smarter, they'll go from a CPM basis to a cost per click or a cost per lead or even a cost per acquisition basis. And as you move down that path, the, advertise or the, the publisher will do more and more work to generate eyeballs, but the yield will become less and less. But certainly we've been talking for um, at least a year about third-party um, ad serving for mobile. So once that gets up and running, I think that would be really interesting and will help facilitate the whole um, media buying for mobile. I think that's really important. So once, once we've got that, I think it, it will help establish the value of mobile, of mobile media. The concept of addressable campaigns where all the elements of the campaign are assembled out of a hopper on the fly and delivered and optimised automatically with the use of technology is where all this stuff's going to go because that's going to be the only way to deliver a meaningful return on banner advertising. I mean, have you ever clicked on one? I don't think I have, not deliberately, certainly. I think being in an ad, work, ad network right now is a very scary but also exciting proposition. The banner ad is d going, if not already dead. One of, the gr one of the great and bad things about online is that you know instantly if your campaign has worked or not. So you've got to start thinking about how you can with all the data that we have available now through uh, the amount of information in that cloud, how we can start targeting messages that people want to read and see and hear. The value of, of how we target audiences in digital has always been both a blessing and a curse because we can target people so granularly uh, and, and that we can eliminate waste, but we're not doing that at, at, at a high yield rate. So digital is getting cheaper and yet the targeting is getting more sophisticated, which leads to a kind of question around how do we, how do we grow the digital media uh, revenue potential when we're, we're, we're selling precision at a, a lower and lower price rather than in, in most other media. The more that you target, the more uh, accurate you get in reaching the, mar the, the consumer that the marketer wants to reach. What I can imagine are a smaller number of intelligent sites finding ways to allow a lesser number of advertisers to engage with their readership in a more personalised to and, to, and, uh, to and from way. From a buying perspective, um, it's certainly been a big underachiever. It's had a lot of hype in the last few years. It's, it's uh, only about 1% of, of spend. That's going to change dramatically. Um, I think from a buying perspective, um, it's been a pretty... Uh, difficult market, complex, fragmented uh, market for, 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 for people to operate in. In terms of ad networks and the idea of behavioural targeting and pinpointing a consumer, I think as an idea that is amazing. It's fantastic and it's a, as a marketer it's a no-brainer. I, I haven't seen any real tangible evidence that behavioural targeting is more than a great spiel or a great idea. If you look at Google layers and a lot of apps that are being released now, proximity-based targeting, um, you know, geo-targeting, uh, it, it just opens up this whole other universe of opportunity in terms of how we ad serve. I think we need to move away from traditional concepts and that's freaking a lot of businesses out um, because whole industries have been built uh, upon those contexts. 
I think there's two two aspects to this. One is demand side platforms, DSPs. I think that WPP and other major global agency groups are now looking at technology platforms to allow them to trade automatically uh, or in an automated way rather to, to buy, plan and buy display media um, from a demand side. And I think the second biggest technology application is going to continue to be online behavioural advertising. I think it's going to be targeting technologies.